calming and serene and soulful, strong imagery, all things that I want to develop within myself. It wasn't conscious when I started to do it. It was a way of my connecting with nature when I couldn't get into a place of natural beauty. So I painted it, and then it became a way for me to connect with that peacefulness I found. And now it's a way of communicating it and sharing it. My painting is a spiritual practice, and it always has been. It is that meditative state, such complete concentration and so complete connection with what I'm doing that it takes over my being. And in so doing, I have this ability to express something that's almost otherworldly because I am in connection with the divine. Every summer, we'd rent a, one of those little 1950s cinder block beach houses on Santa Rosa Island. And we would spend two weeks fishing and crabbing and water skiing and swimming. And that sense of love and connection that we had in just being together in such a beautiful natural environment and doing together was magical. It was a connection that didn't require conversation because we shared in this passion that we had for the coast. And the same was true when we would go up in the woods, wildflower picking or blackberry picking. That connection to nature is what kept our family together. It's what kept us happy. It was the glue. And I think we all look for that to this day. I mean, even as we grow older, we want to give that sense of connection to our children. And these paintings can be reminders of that. You know, great natural beauty, I think we all feel a connection to that. And that can bring people together, even just as a painting of that beauty, of that place. My favorite place in all the world really is Fort Pickens, the western end of Santa Rosa Island. You can go out there in the middle of the summer and we'll walk that point, I park the car and I walk all the way around the western edge of the island and I would find myself on an expanse of beach without another soul in sight. The stark beauty of, of this huge expanse of perfectly white, sugar white sand and blue sky and that gradation of in the sky of where Closer to the horizon, it's kind of white because it's reflecting the sand, and then it's light blue and it gets darker and darker and darker blue. I love to paint that gradation. Or, you know, at sunset, that's another thing. You know, you have no buildings, no trees, nothing obstructing the horizon. But that sense of uncomplicated stillness, simplistic beauty. I mean, it's so, it's sky, sand, water. And that's all. And it becomes very graphic. I'll put the horizon right at the midpoint of the canvas, and then the cloud will be like a quarter of the way up from there. A sense of wonder. A sense of peace and calm, serenity. And the strength that comes from that. My images are not soft. It's very strong imagery. I'm painting who I want to be, is really what I'm doing. I'm, I'm better, I'm, I'm more relaxed and calmer and stronger than I was six months ago, a year ago, five years ago. I'm still not who I want to be, but I, I see it as a lifelong practice, a lifelong journey of becoming. We all have our flaws. But the willingness to look at those flaws and to work through them is what makes the difference. 
and to remember to embody every day that which we want to be. And my paintings remind me of that. Thank you.